Good morning, everyone. I'm Father Andrew. It's uh, lovely to see you again and listen together uh, today's Holy Gospel. Uh, today's Holy Gospel is uh, Luke uh, chapter 12, verse 49 to 53. Today's Holy Gospel is a very important and powerful and uh, lovely Jesus word. And at some point, probably, you and I, uh, we would be uh, disappointed about his word. Now we have a look quickly what he wanted to tell us. I have come to set the earth on fire. It's a very strong uh, language. He said, I, I have come to set the earth on fire. Why? Normally we think God is love. So Jesus should be come to this world to give us uh, the love, the love of God, the peace, uh, the mercy, rather than the fire. And how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized. And how great is my anguish until it is uh, accomplished. So Jesus stressed about this word, the fire. Obviously, we understand what does it mean, the fire. The fire is a very strong word because burn everything. Symbolically speaking, we understand the fire is uh, uh, the presence of the uh, Holy Spirit. So when you receive the Holy Spirit or when you are within the Holy Spirit, you cannot have a, a negative things or you stay with a, a, your sins because the divine, divine life, the spirit life. So we believe God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So if you are within the Holy Spirit, you are not better person, but you are holy person. And then he said, 51, Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? Generally speaking, we think Jesus came into the, this world to give us his love and not the division. But he said his language is a very strong language now. I have come to establish peace on the earth. No, I tell you, but rather division. Now we need to think about actually how could understand this Jesus word, why he came here. Personally, in my heart, his presence like a fire in my family life or community, society, country, or in the world. Why he used this word division? What is the problem? When we listen in the word of God, obviously, we automatically divide who listen the word of God, who doesn't or doesn't want to listen the word of God. So automatically divide the two things. The presence of the fire, what does it mean? Means the presence of a Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit come through the word of God. So, Jesus said, I have come to set the earth on fire means I am coming to this world to give you this fire, which means the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. So he came here in our life to proclaim the Holy Gospel, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, 
God's life is here now, within the human's life. Those who listen His word, His voice, they will have a, like God, eternal life. But first happened the division. Division between a father will be divided against his son, and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter, and her a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. What does it mean? I mean, those who listen the word of God and those who not listen the word of God, unfortunately, divided between these peoples. So my dear brothers and sisters, those who listen the word of God, obviously, they have a, this beautiful and strong fire, which means to proclaim the Holy Gospel, as well as those who not believe or listen to the word of God, they have the same, the fire. But this fire is a bit different, not just the proclaim of the Holy Gospel, but we can say this fire means the judgment. So how gracious is it to listen the word of God continually and with the fire, the presence of the Holy Spirit, we can be more easily understand about God's love and God's peace and God's mercy too. Jesus came here to give us his peace, not the division. But unfortunately, first must happen the division. My dear brothers and sisters, with this blessing, may we have a wonderful and beautiful and a holy time and, and day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.